Is it October yet? No, it is not. As I record and upload this video, it's the last day of September. The year of the dragon 2024 feels like. The longest year in recent memory. But it's been good. Highs and lows. A lot of highs, actually. So, Scorpio, this is your reading for October. Happy birthday, if it's your birthday when you're watching Libra season begins in September. Libra season goes through most of October. Scorpio season begins in late October. This is my favorite time of the year. I do love Halloween, Samhain, Day of the Dead, Idolus, Marenthos. And my Scorpio son's birthday is in November. So late September, October, November, my favorite time of the year. Six cards for my sexy Scorpio collective. Scorpio Sun. Scorpio Moon. Scorpio Rising. If you have Venus in Scorpio, you're especially sexy. Ray de Bastos, King of Wands, City of the Copas, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pisces, Os de Oros, Ace of Pentacles, Cabal de Bastos, Nine of Wands, Six of Copas, Six of Cups, Six is Venus, Ocho de Copas, Eight of Cups, Eight is Capricorn. And I've always just intuitively associated Eight of Cups with Scorpio because depending on the context, I see Eight of Cups as a deepening. And in this context, I do see instant depth. You've met someone and there was instant depth, instant passion, instant intensity. This is someone you're really connecting with and it's good. The sex is amazing or it will be amazing if you've not had sex yet. You've got this person on a pedestal, it's mutual. They have you on a pedestal as well. You're both looking through the rose-colored glasses. This is a soulmate union. This is valuable. This could change the course of your life. There could be a bit of an age gap. I feel like you're the king of wands. Your person could be the knight of wands. You could have a serious conjunction in fire, something like Mars conjunct Venus or Mercury conjunct Mercury and Sagittarius, and you excite each other. It's not just sexual, but you inspire each other, uh, one or both of you could be an artist, musician, writer. The other person's the muse. So you both act as muses to each other. And this is just a really exciting, beneficial relationship. It's hard to talk. It's hard to expound when the cards are this positive. I feel like I'm just telling a fairy tale. It, just, it looks really good. You're feeling healthy. You're feeling amazing. Your energy is phenomenal. Um, I don't really see any problems here. The water dominates perfect because Scorpio is a water sign. And we have two fire cards and we have earth. So there's no overthinking. There's no neuroticism that's air. Um, I just see two people who are giddy in love. You delight each other. I'll do this. It's dangerous, but we're only at four minutes, and I would like for my videos to at least be five minutes long. Um, I say it's dangerous because there's always going to be a negative card, inevitably. That's just tarot. That's life. But three more cards for my sexy Scorpio collective. Tie it all together with a pretty pink bow. Joker amplifies the cards it touches. Harrison Ford is a Cancer. Four is Aquarius. Four of Hearts. Four of Cups. Four of the Copas. Three is Sagittarius. Three of Clubs. Three of Wands. Three is the Bostos. Just know if this is the first time you've really fallen in love with someone, if this is the first truly exciting 
romantic sexual relationship you've ever been involved in. Just know that eventually the Four of Cups will bite you on your ass. That's life in the 3D. That's life on planet Earth. There's really no fixing that. So the Four of Cups, that can be toxic codependency. That can be where you feel like the person you're with is not filling your cups at all. They're not meeting your needs. You feel this general disconnect. You feel this sense of ennui, just low energy, disenchantment. You know, the Seven of Cups can't last forever. That's the honeymoon phase. That's when you have someone on a pedestal. You're looking through the rose-colored glasses and everything they say is just wonderful. Oh, someone just liked my tweet. That's great. Okay, someone just liked one of my tweets. Um, yeah, eventually you're going to experience, if you haven't already, the Four of Cups. And so that's just life. I don't know. I'm not really going to give advice. I dislike the Four of Hearts, the Four of Cups so much that I did a video on it at Siren Tarot years ago called Entitlement. It's the human condition. We all go through it. We go through periods where we're just feeling low and we need someone to come in and kick our butts or we need someone to come in and excite us because we can't excite ourselves. We just can't fill our cups. And so all I can say is that if you're a truly creative person, if you can pick up a guitar and make it sound good or you can put paint on canvas and make it look good, if you're artistic or creative at all, that's the best remedy for the Four of Cups. That's how you start your own fire. But yeah, that's what I see for Scorpio. It looks really good right now. It's really, I don't know, it's harmonious, it's sexy, it's fun. Hope that resonates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.